Hey guys, my name is Detective Matitz and I'm gonna solve a case for you today. For the untrained eye, everyone can be a suspect in the case of overheating. But fear not, because I'm a professional. With the power of deduction, I'm gonna present you with several possible solutions for this case. PC case. So today we're looking for a case that is the best for supporting liquid cooling. With tons of options on the market, different brands, high-end and low-end models, it's definitely not easy to select the right one. More advanced users are always looking for cases that are modular, have removable dust filters, cable management options and make overall good use of their size. On top of all that, you also need to have enough room to accommodate for the reservoir, the pump, the tubing, fans and radiators. For example, with liquid cooling, additional space is needed for the radiators because air-cooled systems only need fan mounts and 25 mm of space, since almost all case fans are 25 mm thick. The thinnest radiators are 25 to 30 mm thick, which means that you'll need at least 50 mm of space to fit the radiator along with the fans. Most mainstream cases have only 25 to 30 mm of headroom above the motherboard, which only allows fan mounting and we haven't even got to the 45 or 58 mm thick radiators. Keep in mind that the overall size of the case does not have to be bigger to accommodate for liquid cooling. It's the internal layout that needs to be just right. As you've probably heard it multiple times in your life, size doesn't matter. It's the way... <laughs> it's how you use it. With that being said, it's more than possible to have liquid cooling inside smaller cases. Sometimes it's even a necessity because any high performance air cooler is at least 150 to 160 mm tall. And for that, you need a fat case. Small PC cases are cramped, which will result in bad ventilation for GPUs. By replacing the stock cooler from a high end GPU with a water block, you can free up space for an additional card. At the same time, heat is transferred away to the radiator and directly exhausted from the case, which is a win win situation. Now let's look at an example for a great case for liquid cooling. The Lian Li O11 Dynamic. Whoa, 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 calm down, calm down. We all know it's the most popular case for liquid cooling. We have to live with that fact. Please. Thank you. This versatile case can easily be one of the most affordable, liquid cooling friendly showcase enclosures on the market at this moment. The large tempered glass side and front panels reveal all the components and the top part can accommodate for a 360 mm radiator with a thickness of up to 44 mm, like the EK Quantum Surface P360M. A radiator of this size can handle most of the available high-end CPUs and a single GPU used in one loop. But the market is evolving. More and more case models are being designed especially with liquid cooling in mind, with the PC-011 being one of them. In addition to that, we have several distro plates on offer for this case and for some others as well. While we're on the subject of distro plates, it would be nice to expand upon that a bit. Distro plates serve as a pump reservoir combo units that take care of the proper coolant distribution at the same time. A single product makes sure that all of the radiator mounting points are all utilized to their full extent and all of the tube runs are perfect because the connection ports are carefully designed and laid out. This can also be one important turning point while choosing your next case, so check if there's a distro plate available for it. But if you want maximum compatibility and a good user experience while assembling your liquid cooling loop, make sure that you pick Matrix 7 compliant products. There are two paths that you can follow. Oh Sherlock, which one is the best then? Well, a universal answer to that question doesn't exist. It all depends on your needs. No sh Sherlock! You can go about it from two angles. You can first choose the case and then pick the water cooling parts or first get the parts and then find the adequate case. Based on your choice, a smaller case would love some slim radiators and a pump plus reservoir combo, while larger cases offer you more freedom. If you're undecided, you can always visit the official EK Facebook group to ask for guidance. You can also contact our customer support or try using CLC and see which case has the most radiator space available. Links are in the description below. If you're just looking for some inspiration, you can also check our Shop The Loop and share your build pages, or our social media channels. All the links are also in the description. So check out some sick builds. Just so that we don't leave you caseless after watching this video, 
Here are some of the cases that we suggest for liquid cooling. Lian Li O11D, the standard version, the Mini, and the XL. Fractal Design Define 7, Define 7 XL, Define R6, Define S2, Vector RS, Meshify S2, Fantex Evolve X and P600S. Be quiet, Silent Base 601, Cooler Master, Master Case H500M, C700M, or the new HAF700 Evo. Thermal Take Core P3, P5, and P6. Antec Torque or Striker, Invin 303 and 909 EK Silver Special Edition, Corsair 4000D and 1000D, and many, many others. Time to draw a conclusion. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I will present you with some options, but you need to be the judge, jury, and executioner yourself. I'm a simple detective. Watch the reviews, read the reviews, read user experiences on forums, and that is it. Find as many reviews as possible on the case that you're interested in and focus on those where they actually put components in the case. Or you can always just reach out to the EK community for some help. When you finally decide to spend your hard-earned money on liquid cooling and you're not sure about the compatibility with your case, you can always use Custom Loop Configurator or CLC made just to ease your choice when you plan everything. And with that, the case is closed. That's it for today. If you like the content, make sure to like, share and subscribe to our channel. Stay cool!